Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Fusion. It's time to take a look at the latest coffee to enter the roastery. This is a coffee from Tega and Tula in Ethiopia and is a wash process coffee. Tega and Tula are two adjoining farms owned by Ahado Wolbset. Ahado was one of the founding members of the Ethiopian Commodity Exchange. For those of you who need a quick background into coffee in Ethiopia, up until the last couple of years, in order to buy coffee from the country, you had to buy it through the coffee exchange. So this meant that the traceability that you were able to have was just down to the region the coffee was from, along with the grading of the coffee and the processing method. The reason that ECX was established was to protect farmers to kind of guarantee a price for their coffee. But as the world started to care a little bit more about the coffee they purchased and where it came from, like right down to the mill or right down to the farm, the ECX actually did a little bit of a disservice to the farmers who were producing high quality coffee as their coffee would just get blended in with other coffee farmers from the region. So in the last couple of years, the government has made it a lot easier for uh, people to bypass the ECX, allowing mills to kind of purchase their own export license and then export directly to roasters. So generally speaking in Ethiopia, most farmers have a really small plot of land. And as a result, you tend to see the traceability to the mill within the area. So farmers would deliver coffee cherries just to the nearest mill. And perhaps if the mill was quality focused, they would pay a little bit more for uh, delivering 100% ripe cherries. As a result of this, roasters would look for mills that were producing specialty coffee and then they would be able to purchase consistently from the same mill and get the same kind of quality over and over, which is kind of similar to uh, countries like Kenya who do the same thing. So it's really unique then to have coffee from Ethiopia that just comes from a single farm. And so Tega and Tula are actually two farms uh, in the Kappa region of Ethiopia. And on these two farms, they have a number of micro lots where they consistently experiment to improve the coffee year on year. And this year, after cupping most of their lots, I decided to purchase their Woosh Woosh lot, which is not only fun to say, but also fun to drink. So Woosh Woosh is one of the very sought after Ethiopian coffee varieties, and it's blended with two other heirloom varieties. Flavor wise in the cup, there's a dominance of this apricot flavor, it's also backed up by a little bit of pineapple acidity and a lot of brown sugar in the body. I've had really good reports coming back from the subscribers who have already been drinking this coffee, uh, both as espresso and filter. I've been loving the slightly longer extraction on the espresso machine, so about 20 in, 50 out, but one to two is tasting really nice if you make your milk coffees. So it is always great when Ethiopian coffee finally arrives into Australia. Because Ethiopia is landlocked, it always takes a little bit longer for fresh crop to arrive into Australia. And then you throw in a worldwide pandemic and you start to wait longer and longer, but the wait is always worth it. So the coffee's been in the roastery for about a month. Uh, if you're watching this, get straight on to ordering it if you like the sound of it. I still do have a fair bit left, but with Christmas coming up, uh, lots of people are ordering more coffee, so it won't last forever. It is one of those coffees that is really well suited to filter brewers. So if you like pouring your V60s and things like that, check it out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this insight into Ethiopian coffee. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments below. If you're within Australia and you haven't tried my coffee yet, you can sign up for a free trial when you start a subscription and I'll be including Tega and Tula in the samples for the next couple of months. So that's a great way to try some different coffees and uh, see what you think of what I'm roasting. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep frothing.